Hi friends, um, so today we're back making our gratitudes and well I decided to use the shape of a heart because for me a heart symbolizes giving thanks that comes from your heart. Um, really meaningful, um, genuine thank yous that come from your heart. Not, you know, superficial, but something that you've really thought about and you're doing genuinely. So. <clears throat> I grabbed a few things in preparation, so I want you guys to be using things in your house that you would probably ordinarily throw away, I like an old pizza box. So just cut off the cover of the old pizza box. Some magazines, you know, remember different kinds of magazines, um, books that you use for travel or ordering things. Um, Playbills, if they're not important to you, or if they are important to you. So I chose this one because it's actually important to me because I went to go see a concert and it was one of my favorite bands. And I really never thought I would get to see them when I got to see them. So I'm gonna include them in my gratitude jar for things that I'm really grateful for. You know, housekeeping magazine to decorate your houses have really cool pictures in them. So <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how to get started. So you wanna make sure that your gratitudes fit inside your jar. So what I did first is that I grabbed my lid off the jar and I traced a circle. I put the lid down and traced the circle. Once I had traced the circle, I grabbed a straight edge and drew a square or a rectangle inside that circle. That ensured that my heart would fit into the jaw without it getting crumpled up. The next thing that I did was that I traced a heart that fit inside that circle. The easiest way to trace a heart that fits inside that circle is to turn your rectangle into a diamond, this position right here, that position, and then draw your heart from here Curve it right there, and then go around right there. So I'm just gonna quickly draw that for you, and then I'm gonna show it to you. There. It doesn't have to be perfect. You see how the center of the heart goes up to the point on the diamond and the bottom of the heart goes to the point on the diamond. So I have one half over here, and one half over there. You friends are always asking me how to draw hearts. There's a really easy way to draw a heart. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it out. We've been cutting them out all this time, right? Now I'm gonna keep this because this is my heart that can fit into my jaw. And I can use this to cut any shape that I want from any magazine. I can find anything and I can cut it out into a heart. Hmm, I like this one. Okay, that's a nice one. We'll keep looking. Hmm. Oh, that's a cool one because it's got all the different things on it and it's already shaped like a like a square so I'm gonna cut that one out all right I'll cut that out I'm going to cut out same shape with my heart Trace my heart on here. I've traced my heart on there. Cut it out. If I can find my scissors, I'm always losing things. Anyway, cut your heart out. And then after you've cut your heart out, you're gonna use your glue stick again. And then you're gonna glue this 
onto this. Where are my scissors? Wow, that is so strange. One minute they're here, the next minute they're gone. Why did I do that? I have a pair of scissors. <laughs> that was exciting. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out. Remember, you're moving the paper, not not the scissors. Your heart is cut out. There it is. Okay. Now you're gonna take this and you're gonna glue it on here. Using my glue stick again. Remember, the reason why I'm gluing this on here is because this is really flimsy. So if I glue it on here onto this pizza onto this pizza box heart, to the cardboard, it has some firmness so it'll hold up better okay you might need to do a little trimming all right there we go now on the back of this now that i've decorated it i'm gonna write down what i'm grateful for What am I grateful for? And I'm also adding some color to the back of the pizza box because that cardboard is just kind of boring. So I'm gonna add some color back here. I'm just gonna grab my marker. I'm just gonna give it some color. I chose to go with red. Imagine that. Everybody knows red is Miss Vanessa's favorite color. my heart I'm not going to write down my gratitude I am so very very grateful for my health today I cannot even imagine anything that I am more grateful for right now I'm so grateful to be healthy You can get fancy with this. There, healthy. I have created a gratitude. I'm now going to mindfully place my gratitude inside my jar and close it up. And every day, I'm going to create a heart and I'm going to write down something that I'm grateful for and I'm going to put it in my jar. Happy creating. Remember to be grateful. <laughs>